Hey guys, it's Eddie with Discovery Reptiles, and I've been getting a lot of messages about our tortoises. So, I figured I would do a little video for you guys. This is Crush, and he's our male Silcata tortoise. Um, now, these are animals that you can definitely find in a lot of different pet stores, and you can find them kind of all over the place. They're a really, really cool animal. <laughs> Crush is like, hey man, I'm really sexy looking. Um, so they are a really, really cool animal. We absolutely love having them. Um, and I'll just give them a little bit of cactus for being good and following me over. Um, so they're really, really cool. They just, they get big, you know, and when we first got Crush, we have two of them. We have Crush and Layla. Uh, when we first got Crush, honestly, he was the size of a silver dollar. Um, he could fit in the palm of my hand. And so he's gotten really, really big over the past few years. Uh, we got him around 2009, so I mean he's he's grown. I guess yeah, about 2009, 2010, um, and he has just grown like an absolute weed. And this is cactus pads, by the way. We grow our own here, um, but yeah, he's just he's grown a lot. And um, we also have Layla, who is our female. Now Layla, she's in another area right now, chowing down on some grass. We're giving her kind of a break because these guys just keep breeding, and it's sort of annoying for her because she can't really do anything without him trying to mate with her. Um, but you know, you can find Silcata tortoises everywhere and you know, a lot of people don't know these are the third largest tortoise in the world. So you have, you know, the Galapagos and the Aldabras, which get really big, but then you also have Silcatas. Um, and again, these guys are native to North Africa. Um, and, and they're, they're big, they're big, big animals. You know, right now Crush is still kind of small. Um, so is Layla. Layla's only about 60, 70 pounds, but these guys get big. And, and I've definitely read reports of, of these guys getting anywhere between 200 to 250 pounds. So you think of an animal that size, you know, it's a, it's a big, big animal. So, and in just a short amount of time, they go from, you know, living in a little tiny tank and, you know, in your bedroom to being an animal that's this big and, you know, having to live outside. So it's just something that if people want an animal like this, we do recommend that you do your research first. You don't just go out and buy it kind of as a compulsory buy, like, hey, you know, it's a cool animal, let me just buy it right now. You really definitely know what you're doing. You wanna know what you're getting yourself into. And they're great, you know, I've got friends that have big silcatas and I've got friends that have, you know, big aldabras and Galapagos tortoises and yellowfoot tortoises and so on. And they love them. They just, they're the most amazing animals. Every time we do a show with our silcatas, people love them. They just think they're the coolest thing ever. And so they really, really are a neat animal. But that being said, it's just, it's, it's an animal that requires a lot of room to, to move around. It's an animal that requires, you know, a great amount of food to feed. This yard that they're in right now was full of grass. I mean, literally like grass, you know, probably a foot high or so. We put these two silcata, the, the two in here, um, and these two silcatas just destroyed this yard within a matter of about a week or so. And so now there's almost no grass left. So we have to feed them a lot of different types of lettuces. We have to feed them, you know, a lot of different types of grasses. And we let them free roam as well, kind of around the yard where there's areas that have more grass. Um, but still, it's just, it's an animal that requires a lot of room. And it's not, you know, the, the household kind of pet where you're just going to let them walk around your house and everything will be fine. And, you know, because they, they poop and pee <laughs> everywhere. Um, so, yeah, so they get a lot of different lettuces. They get a lot of different types of grasses. They do get some vegetables on occasion. Um, and then of course they also get cuddle bone. They get cuddle bone quite often. Uh, and cuddle bone is a good source of calcium and it also helps break down that beak of theirs. So they do get quite a lot of different types of food. But like I said, it's just something that, you know, if you want one, it's a great animal. But that being said, you have to have a lot of room for it. So anyway, just like I said, a lot of people have been sending me messages saying, hey, can you do a little video on the Silcatas? Because they're really, really cool. They're super cute. And we named this one Crush because of Finding Nemo. Just one of my favorite movies. It's super cool. And I figured, you know what? Everybody knows the name Crush. Um, Layla is just a really beautiful animal. So we thought the name Layla was just really, really pretty for, for her. So, and, and again, they are breeding. We don't hatch the eggs though. So last year they bred and after they finished breeding, uh, Layla deposited the eggs and we actually fed the eggs out to our monitor lizards. So we don't actually keep any of them. My op personal opinion is that there's more than enough Silcatas out there that need a home. No one needs to really be breeding them. Um, so that's just, again, that's my own personal opinion. You know, I know other people might feel differently, but I just think that there's a lot of them out there that could use a home. And, you know, it's just kind of a 
kind of a shame when there's these big ones out there that need a place to stay but yet people keep breeding and they keep having a bunch of babies and of course they're cute but before you know it they get big and then you have an animal that doesn't have a home again so in any case uh these are the sulcata, tor sulcata tortoises if you guys have any questions or anything let me know um 239-440-5307 is our phone number or you can email me at discoveryreptiles at yahoo.com or of course check out our facebook page and see what you guys think on there all right thanks guys